Now, dollar cost averaging um, to, to do that successfully uh, depends on what are you investing in. So one of the most important criteria about dollar cost averaging is that whatever what investment you're doing to do dollar cost averaging, it must not go down to zero. So dollar cost averaging is an excellent strategy. Uh, so for other viewers who um, may not be aware of the jargon called dollar cost averaging, it's basically instead of investing one big lump sum, you spread your investment over a period of time. Mm. Usually it's every month, maybe over 10 months or even a year. Uh, so you split your money into small chunks because you believe that the investment that you are putting in is going to decline in value over time. Mm. Uh, that's why you do dollar cost. But of course, if you feel that the investment is going to go up, uh, it's definitely not a straight line up. You wouldn't do dollar cost, you just put lump sum, right? Now, dollar cost averaging um, to, to do that successfully uh, depends on what are you investing in. So one of the most important criteria about dollar cost averaging is that whatever what investment you're doing to do dollar cost averaging, it must not go down to zero. So if you are investing in stocks and you try to dollar cost on a single stock, uh, not advisable because the risk of dollar uh, of debt is that the stock may go to zero. Mm. Right? Even blue chip companies can go to zero. Yeah. So once mm. it goes to zero, it will never recover. So you need to dollar cost on something which has a high probability of uh, making mm. profit on the mm. long run. Mm. As you know, there are so many cryptocurrencies in the world. If you invest in the wrong crypto, it can go to zero too. So you know there have been cases the last few months, hundred percent wipe out. Mm. So you need to select something that mm. won't go to zero. So I would say that the best way is to dollar cost average by buying very good stocks, but a different stocks every mm. every month. So if anybody wishes to contact you, Alfred, how do they go about doing so? Okay, very simple. If uh, anyone wish to contact me, they can either come to my website, which is ifa.sg, ifa.sg, and just uh, you know, drop me an email. Alternatively, uh, you can actually click on the link shown on this video.